Oh, hi. This is just a quick um, tips and, and heads up for you guys, uh, because I do have um, really good uh, uh, results from some people uh, who are not Prusa uh, users. They say the, the print is easy, the built-in uh, support is very easy to re remove. But also I got uh, some feedbacks from uh, Prusa users. Uh, they do have a problem with that. And more uh, uh, feedback from uh, users who, who are uh, using PTG instead of a POA. Uh, I do know the importance of uh, printed uh, with a PTG. It's just, uh, um, just let me know what, what kind of problem you are having if uh, you are using a PTG because uh, I know there will be a lot more sending because I found I print some parts myself and the uh, tolerance is just different. Uh, it's, it's too tight, especially for uh, cylinders. Um, and for, for the shows, uh, maybe some uh, moving parts, you do have to send it. But for POA, uh, the sending is easy and, and minimum. So yeah, do let me know. Okay, um, so my printer is um, Anycubic uh, Viper. Everything is stuck. I didn't do any upgrade, so there's no direct drive. Um, but still, you can print a TPU filament pretty okay if you dry the uh, filaments. Make sure it's dry. And also, the slicer I'm using is Cura 5.21, so that's the newest one. For some reason, the print time is really fast without losing too much of the quality. Um, and also, mm, you know what? Feel free to DM me, um, and I, I can just sh uh, show you or share my um, Cura profile with you. Uh, maybe that will help with your settings uh, to save your time of printing. So that's... Uh, print setting and oh hardware so yeah uh benchy benchy uh, the gentleman uh, mentioned about like it's not jolt spring well you're not wrong uh, i got it from here because uh right now in canada getting jolt is kind of hard i do have jolt but i use up all the springs on my lamb uh right now i just i'm out uh this is this came from a party pack so it's a box with 10 and sometimes when it's on sale uh the average pr price uh, for this is like three or four bucks of a Canadian um, Canadian box. So yeah, it's quite cheap. I might as well just get this and get a spring out then just buy a new spring. Okay, and, and feel free to also use any springs uh, that the outer diameter is less than 26 millimeter. So I tried this one, it works okay. But uh, the FPS is almost the same. This one probably a bit more uh, with the spacer I enclosed in the file. But to the pool for this one probably is gonna be heavier. Uh, but about the same performance. So if you do have access to this guy, go get it. Okay. Uh, so that's the jolt uh, spring. And also, um, the Benji also mentioned something about the click pens. Uh, no, this is not Canadian made. <laughs> this is, I don't know, Muji, from Muji actually. Um, so you can just use this. Actually, it shares a lot of, uh, I'm going to make sure that for you. So that you know, uh, you are getting the right uh, click pen spring. You can use this as the strong one, or even better, if you have two of this, to, to make another weak one, probably you can just cut the coat co yourself. But before cu uh, cutting that, I will try that first um, to see if um, the, the trigger reset is okay without cutting the coils. So this is about, the free length is 23 millimeters, and diameter, as I remember, 4.5 millimeters. Uh, yeah. So this is not two, it's joined together by the nature. So it's one. Sometimes for a click pen, you got this type of a spring or you just got that, you know, you, 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 uh, you know what I mean once you open it. Okay. Uh, now, we have the uh, click pen uh, spring, we have the jolt uh, spring for hardware. I'm going to, again, I'm going to put all the hardware, uh, the source uh, that I can get it uh, for, for my uh, physical models. I'm going to have a list for you down the description of this video. Okay, so that's open it up. So the, the, the front piece, you just pop up like uh, my, like this. You just pop it up. Use the flex. And then for this one, it's for test, right? So for this one, I only uh, bought this done. I'm going to open up for you. Okay, basically you have to unscrew everything, right? And then I'll just take it off and show you. So this is the rear side assembly and this is the stopper. Okay. And this is the hand. The hand, if you do have sticky trigger, chances are either the hand, the size of the hand is too big, too wide, so it doesn't move uh, freely, or the spring, the 
outer diameter of the strong spring here is too wide. So the perfect size is under uh, 4.5 millimeter for uh, outer diameter, as I just uh, measured for you. So for, it's quite simple. Just make sure before you even put the spring in it, just make sure if that it doesn't move uh, freely and all the way in to see if it's okay to bounce back. Even better, you try that with the trigger. Okay, so, and then if it stays this, it's normal. But with gentle push, it snaps back in place. Then this is good, it's perfect, okay? Then here and here you can use exactly the same uh, spring. Uh, except if you want to make this one weaker, you can cut the coils after you uh, put together and try if everything works okay. If you do have a problem, uh, do the trigger reset that it doesn't go back in place, uh, chances are probably it's either here, it got stuck, or here, the spring is too strong. Either two. Okay, so let's just put it back. So when the trigger, you press the trigger, it moves this up and then rotate this. And then the stopper here will be stopping the cylinder to the right uh, position. Also, let's just put it back. Also, see the trigger? Move the hands up and also move this whole unit up, right? And then the sear will be locking down this until this engage this and then unlock everything and then the air come out and shoot. So this is the rear side. Actually, uh, it's not just a rear side, it's a guider to guide this TPU made uh, nozzle to deform, to bend. And then the button of the stopper also act as the guider to guide this all the way in. I'll see if I can do it for you. Yeah, just like that. It's not, you get the idea. It's not going in, but basically it's just like that to create an air seal, okay? And then the shape of this, it's not just going to bend, right? Or, or just uh, going in here to create the air seal. Also, the shape of this also act as the last push as a, uh, Spring, it, uh, it, its functions, uh, you got two functions. The first one is it's going to detach itself from, from this, right? And then it'll be pushing against this. So create a force with a 27 uh, degree angle down here. So that's, that's why I say when you try this and you got uh, stuck here and with gentle push, as long as with the gentle push, it goes back uh, easily then don't worry about it. And this is the part that was doing the last push. Okay, so that's just how it goes. And uh, here uh, for to um, Tyra, me, you said that you have uh, problems with this. Right? So you say you cannot close that together. Uh, with POA, it should be okay, but probably it's PTG, I guess. So. Yeah, to to do this, to to rotate this, actually, this part doesn't have to be uh, able to move as long as the cylinder can move with this arm. If you still have uh, the problem, uh, let me know. I can uh, shrink this for you and give you the file. But as long as it is in place and it can rotate with the rod arm, then don't worry about it. And the other thing, you also showed a uh, video that um, you are asking if this is normal. Let me just do this for you. Okay. So you say sometimes it rotates and rotates back. Yeah. Actually, that's normal. So to, to actually to test if this is functioning, uh, please kindly put the nozzle in it. And more importantly, you have to put this on. Don't worry about too much about other uh, screws or, or, or bolts. Just do this. 
and screw this on or even better screw this uh, here and here so one two three and then press the trigger with the nozzle on right and see if you you turn it and the, the cylinder rotate and then stopped by the uh, stopper and then also uh, locked down by the nozzle coming up so this one here and then it's time for you to test the uh, trigger reset as well I'm going to put down the nozzle for you guys to see oh, it's really hard to work behind the camera sorry I stayed up all night reading all your messages it's, it's like a It's, it's, I just just feel like if I don't do this, I cannot sleep. <laughs> I feel you guys. I feel you. Okay. Yeah. So let's do that. Right. So rotate and stop. Right. And then when you release the trigger to see if it does re reset. Okay. And and that's it. So uh, the trigger reset. There are three factors. The first one is um, the make sure it's stronger here in terms of uh, spring power. And weaker here. Also, gra gra gravity drop, right? And then the last gentle push by this spring back, the TPU, the flex. So that's the answer for uh, Tyra and Benshi. Um, that's the rotation. The other one is, uh, yeah, trigger reset. I already uh, talked about that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's it. And thank you so much. And again, this is a long video. So, for anyone who has problem. Uh, DM me because I am new here. I don't know how to use uh, Discord very much. It's just uh, hard, you know, like Facebook. Every time I got mentioned, I, it's easier for me to locate where exactly. But for Discord, uh, I feel old. <laughs> I have to go back and, and search and probably, I don't know, for hours just looking for every single message. Definitely I'm doing it once. So yeah, please bear with an old man like me and just DM me on Facebook uh, or even in uh, Discord. Facebook, you always got my answer uh, very quick, very fast. And with your permission, I'm even willing to do video uh, tutorial uh, for you because you guys are much better than I am. I'm just, to be honest, stupid. I just love this uh, new stuff, cool stuff, goofy stuff. And my goal here is to make you happy and laughing uh, but but not distractions. You, you know what I mean. If you are unhappy, then I'm unhappy. So that's not why uh, I'm doing this. Okay. Thank you.